Hello, hello guys, this is Doc M and I'm playing on the Mind Crack server. Yes indeed. What's up guys? It's a chill out Sunday and yeah, I wanna build some stuff, did some preparations and Adlington just fell from a high place. Oh. Oh. I think he was AFK, what is he doing? No. Ah, no, he wasn't Dave King. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so guys, yeah, Adlington is on all the time. He's basically doing the same thing I've been doing over the last yeah, days. Being on a lot. The reason for that being 1.8 is coming and we all know about all the nerfs uh, to different farms. So I've been staying online. Keeping my area loaded, letting the iron golem farm run, letting the witch farm run. Sadly, the efficiency of the my witch farm is badly, uh, well, you can see some spawning, influenced um, by Adlington's presence. <laughs> we tested it. Um, he, his area is really spawning in a lot of mobs where he's hanging out. And that causes the spawn rates of the witch farm to really go to hell. Um, when he locks off... Um, it picks up like crazy and we have really good spawn rates which uh, yeah, are very satisfying now. So yeah, uh, stuff happened, look at that. I took some bottles and spider eyes uh, of the witch farm obviously. Mr. Iso, he brought some clay which is awesome. Um, always need clay as building material. Thank you very much and it's nice to see that Iso actually um, uses some of the witch farm drops to make his business a bit easier. The potion brewing. Um, it's kind of a bit tricky. Um, I'm working on a system right now that will give me four kinds of potions, namely speed, underwater breathing, health potion and fire resist potion uh, for free from my witch farm. That's what I was preparing last time and today we're gonna implement that. Hey Gracie, my cat. I just parked her here because she came with me through the nether and then <coughs> she couldn't go back. I wanna go to spawn guys. Um, and a new shop opened there and um, that shop looks great and has a great deal and we definitely want to make use of that. Um, it's the new shop of Le Bitimeux, <laughs> Le French Bakery. Oui. Vous avez une, uh, how, how, you, how do you call it in French? Hmm, can't remember. But c'est très joli. Oui. C'est ça, il y a des uh, morceaux. And good de choses de d'acheter. <laughs> My French is a bit rusty. I don't use it much. But look at that floor. I like that a lot when I saw that in the video. Um, I assume they got um, glowstone, uh, redstone ore below it. And yeah, of course, it gets triggered when you trample it. But yeah, this is the B Team Cake Store, French Bakery. <laughs> really nice. <coughs> well done, shop. And yeah, it's obviously the B Team's approach to start a legit business. If you saw their last video, they were saying that yeah, they're done with the flim flaming and yeah, nice as I am, I wanna, you know, help the B team out and yeah, help legitimize their business. And they have a, an order book in there and yeah, um, check that out. First time customer specials, free chest of cake delivered to your doorstep. Delivered, you know, it's the B team, I mean, you cannot trust those guys 100%, but I'm willing to give him a chance. So, Adlington ordered cake too. So, Doc M77 wants cake. What do I type here? Wants cake. <coughs> okay. So, we ordered. Done. We don't have to sign the book, so others can order too in case they wanted to. Okay, that's the order book, and now let's wait and see what the B team will deliver. <laughs> yeah, as I said, you never know with these guys, but right now, let's, you know, cut them some slack. Trust them. Trust those guys. Um, maybe they they got a nice business going. As soon as we have our new machine installed at the base, we can also think about dog shop again, putting some stuff in there with all the competing stores. Um, yeah need to step it up a notch, I'd say, but we'll think about that next time. <laughs> Look, 
Um, I think who did that? Uh, dog flag by Cesano for Anders trip around the world. Feel free to move it if desired. I'll leave it in there for a little bit. It's a black, red, and gold. Um, the German flag, as you can see up there. There's Anders. <laughs> nice. I'll leave it there. I'll work on that in a while, anyways, myself. So now let's uh, get Gracie back to the base. Five minutes should have passed. Come on, Gracie. Don't act stupid. Get off the chest. Be a nice cat. Oh, come on. Come on. In to the portal with you. Get out of the corner. Get into the portal. No. How can one cat be so stubborn? Come over here then. Come over here. Come back. Okay. Now you sit down. And I'll push you through while you're sitting. Ha ha! Obey my command! <laughs> Let's quickly go down into the witch farm and check out the area. Oh no, now she's sitting on the alarm all day long. You stay here. Okay, come on, Gracie. Let's let's check it out. So, um, let's get some pearls. I got some building materials on me. And for quite a while, um, I was thinking about this principle. How you could farm different potions from the witches. And, well, depending on what kind of damage uh, witches take... Um, those potions they bring up. So, for example, if witches are in water, you know, they will bring up water breathing potions. If witches are taking fire damage, they might take fire resist potion. There's also a slight chance they will take healing potion first, but fire resist potions. If you suffocate them, they will uh, pick up a potion of healing. And if you damage them and if you are far enough away, they will take out a potion of health. And if you kill him then, you will be able to farm these potions. And yeah, right here, this will be the collection area. Um, here the witches will drop down. We will funnel them from over there to into here. And yeah, when we have them in there, um, there's different modes and different uh, yeah, things we can activate for our farm. And yeah, then we should be able to farm all these potions. And now add Licton locked off. <laughs> And yeah, I mentioned the spawn rates then will pick up radically and yeah, you can see witches start dropping in a constant flow. And some of them, if you look closely, when they land here, sometimes have a potion. You guys also mentioned something? This. When I switch off the system, there's a chance witches could stay in there and don't be, yeah killed because yeah, I dropped them down after switching off the water slider and you can see the spawn is now really good when nobody else is loading in mobs. So yeah, there's a solution for that of course. When I flick this lever, um, witches will be suffocated and standing there you can see they're taking suffocation damage and over time they will be cleared out and also I will just put an iron golem in there, I didn't do that yet and the iron golem will take care of any stray witches like that and will annihilate them and um, last time you know he just didn't attack because he was standing in water, I forgot about that and of course this is not you know my final kill chamber and as you can see I did some tests, there's quite some drops down there, this is just um, was just uh, to finish the yeah the system to channel them over, which was the complicated piston setup we did last time. And now, um, I will start working on this cell here. There's a nice tutorial for it. I will put a link in the video description. Um, a guy made a really nice design um, that is um, yeah, including the mechanisms. And, well, I always have the motto, why, you know, invent the wheel every time new when you can stand on the shoulders of a giant already? If there is a good design somebody may, uh, did, give the guy some love, check it out. Really good design and I'm gonna try to build it now and yeah, we'll test it and see how well it works. Okay guys, I got the basic mechanics installed. Um, this is how the front will look like. We will be able to hide uh, much of that later on. Um, but yeah, I just want to give you an idea uh, in which direction we're going. Um, to get these potions, um, you will always have to manually kill um, the witches and we're gonna use TNT for that because yeah, we can easily produce a bit of gunpowder here. And yeah, if you think about it, 
the uh, yeah, mob capacity, the max, um, would be around 80 plus minus a few. Um, so in theory we could collect um, about 80 witches here. Um, practically I think it should be uh, numbers around 50, 60, 70 maybe. And if you all have him in there, blow him up at the same time in theory we could get 70 health potions or whatever potion we want to produce in one go and I mean yeah that means you don't have to use this farm like all the time you use it a few times boom um, produce your potions and yeah store them away and right here then I will have a brewing setup um, because yeah the potions you get are basic potions tier 1 potions and with the ingredients we get from here namely glowstone, redstone, gunpowder we can yeah alter the potions make throwables extend them and so on so yeah that's pretty neat and yeah let me see um all right later on we need to dig on top of here a little bit and from here we're gonna funnel the witches in if you look we got them coming out right there and then we just need to to bring him over let me have torches all around okay yeah, so we just need to bring him from here to there. It should be a simple task. We let them go straight and then over and down a bit. Sweet. Okay, so um, I'll keep on going here. This is the design. Later on the witches will sit in here. Um, TNT will be dropped from on top. And yeah, you then will light it manually and that uh, way you kill them by hand and you'll be able to kill a lot quickly. Alright guys, all the redstone wiring is done. Very nice tutorial to follow through. Good job, Quez. Good guy. <laughs> when I um yeah, the first design was only for um instant tells and actually yeah he designed that with me in mind so shout out to you buddy, thanks a lot. And um, it's awesome, you know, when the community gets inspired by stuff. Just love it, man. Great design and yeah now it has four different options as mentioned water breathing, speed, fire resistant and instant health depending on what you trigger here and yeah the redstone looks a bit tricky but it is not that hard it's basically a mono stable and a butt switch up here and with this butt switch we control um, what's going on in this machine and oh yeah I have to reset this butt switch here it has to be reset okay let's see yep machine works um, where is my flint and steel okay yep now we're in default alright so yeah butt switch and the butt switch up there gets triggered uh, when you dispense TNT and that controls the whole mechanism depending which lever um, you have selected a different reaction is triggered um, below here um, you have water which will make sure the whole thing doesn't blow up when you dispense TNT in it right here you have flint and steel which will be triggered if you want to produce fire resist because you will set them on fire right here you have a crusher piston um, that will be triggered if you want to in install instant health or create instant health because it will take they will take damage because it will crush him right there um, water this will make sure you suffocate them when we do speed we need to be far enough away that is between 11 and 16 blocks that causes the witches to yeah make a speed potion and try to catch up catch up to you that's why we have positioned the thing um, right there if you look from here where the witches will stand and then we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so if I trigger it and then rush back here with my back to the wall um, we should be able to produce speed potions and yeah now um, we're about to soon do the first tests with our machine and I want to do live tests with witches in there so yeah I'm setting up um, the glass tunnel I want to use a glass tube to funnel them over so yeah witches come from here and um, first I thought I'm gonna bring him over here but then they would be right on top of our room here so now I thought I'm gonna bring him over here and then in so this is the pass that which is gonna take from here and then we will use let me see uh, some glass here 
I'm not gonna use the white glass for it, just regular glass. Okay, and maybe then later on, although, wait a sec, we'll see. Maybe we'll change it later on to some uh, white glass, depending on how everything turns out here. And yeah, basically we need to bring him over and into the machine right here somewhere. So yeah, they need to have some clearance there. And here, here, we close it off. There, there, and then, yeah, we would flush him in right here. Um, there needs to be some light around this place. Knocked out some torches. We need to make sure we're properly, uh, properly lit up here. Okay, so around here, here. There, there, I hear slime jumping. Don't like the noise of that. And to there. That's basically it. Let's close it off here, here. Okay, here we can get out and... Okay, do we have everything closed off? Double check in. Go through here, no water can spill. Okay, and right here we definitely need a sign. Stop the water from flowing in. Back there is closed off. Okay, let's uh, release the water. Give me that sign back. Okay, that will bring him around the corner up to here and then we just need to push him along for the rest of the ride. Okay, let's see where gonna where we're gonna do that. Need to pick up some water. So if we have him coming in here. No, that's stupid. Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. How do we gonna how where are we gonna put the corner? I don't wanna get have them get stuck. You know it's always a bit of a problem if you have these sharp bends. Um they might get stuck there, but yeah. Maybe we do it right here. Try to suck him into the corner a bit. Yeah. Okay, let me quickly get another sign then. A few signs. Okay, and we also need some water. Water, let me grab that from on top. I knocked out the infinite water source we had down here because of it was in the way and the water spilled down and flushed out a bit of my redstone. <laughs> The arch enemy of redstone contraptions, flowing water. Alright, let's grab some. Plump, plump. We have enough. <laughs> we have enough up here in the perimeter. Okay, here we go. Let's go up here. Let's see. Can we. Up on top, yep. Okay, let's see here. So we need sign there. If you put water here, we should create a nice suction. Yep, that should work out properly. Okay. Now we have to cap it off here a bit. Let's see, they come in here. Go down. Here they might be higher up a bit. We don't want to uh, get them stuck. Okay, let's see if I have some more glass there. My chest, yes. Should be good enough for a little, yeah, I don't know. Ceiling we put on there or something so they can't get out. So get on top here. Right, we're flushing them down here, here they could get stuck as they're a bit higher up, so let's give them some headroom here, basically. Um, but right there we should already push down a bit. So up to here, some headroom and then force them to go down. Okay, like this. That should work out fine. Okay, we got it capped off. Sweet. Okay, um, I'm gonna make some TNT and we still have these witches in there. 
humping about, um, that needs to be taken care of as well. Let's suffocate them and collect some new witches. Okay. Yeah, they should die over time. Okay, now all I have to do is wait a bit and see if everything gets into my funnel. Right now we have a drought again with witches spawning. That is, there is still a, um, a bug in the game that mobs can get stuck in these border chunks somewhere. And they yeah, occupy mob spawning space. It can only fix it by leaving the region for five minutes and really unload it. Because you can see right now we don't have much witch drops going on. Yeah, those should be dead soon. And yeah, um, I'll just hang out. I'll collect some witches for our system. And then we can do the first tests. Aha, here we go. We got some drop in. Just want to observe the water tunnels with you guys. Okay. Yeah, looking good. Yep. They're nicely getting funneled around. My main concern with stuff like that is if they would get stuck somewhere. But looks like it they're free flowing nicely. And end up where we want them to be. Brilliant. Okay, I need to make me some TNT for our tests and we will definitely collect a few more in there. <gasps> oh! No! <laughs> you are not allowed to do that right now. <laughs> he punched him. <laughs> that could kind of, um, yeah, create the wrong um, outcome now if we test it. Oh well. Okay, now we eliminated the threat from our testing environment. Um, hopefully I can spawn in a few more widgets. Seems to be a bit slow right now, as I mentioned. Yeah, some of them seem to be stuck in border chunks, some mobs. Um, that's something that really needs to be fixed somehow. Well, in any case, I'll stick around and um, we'll do a first test round soon. Yeah, right now mob spawning pretty much died down because of this stupid bug. But well, um, we have a few in there and we can do a test run. And we want to do the very basic one, the instant tells first. So how you operate this machine is you put a TNT in there, select um, your uh, potion you want to create. In this case, it's going to be instant tells and in there, yeah, no potions. So we do this. Put it over. Now the machine is in basic state. The um, yeah, butt switch triggered. When we light the TNT, it will trigger again. So yeah, let's do this. Boom. Which is died. XP is there. You can come and pick it up. So it's an XP farm as well. And voila, we created two instant health potions out of the few witches alongside with the other drops. Um, from killing them and yeah, ah, we got new witches coming in. Nice. So we can test out the next um, brewing setup. Um, wait, I need to open it up up there again. How many do we have? That was just three or so. Hopefully a few more will be spawning right now. It's really sad that right now I should. After this test, um, I'm going to leave the area for five minutes and completely unload it. And then we will go back to regular um, yeah, spawning rates, with, uh, which is dropping all the time. So um, we can confirm. Um, first as a stage worked, we created instant health. Really nice. And yeah, of course, we could take these potions with a brewing setup and... Um, make them bit differently. Okay, now um, we only have a few witches in there. Maybe it doesn't work if we don't have enough um, because chances are not all of them will drop as you saw. Um, but yeah, let's try out fire resist now. So once again, we select the correct setting, put our TNT in there, drop it in, system is primed, Trigger TNT, system gets primed the second time, they get it set on fire, water gets dispensed, they blow up, and as they were set on fire, um, there is a chance they will create instant health or fire resist.
potion. And as we saw, yeah, they created another potion of healing here. Um, chances are that that happens. And yeah, there's new witches coming in. Nice. Oh, that's a nice badge. Four of them at once. And yeah, you see that um, something takes up the mob cap. It seems we can get around five or six witches down here. The rest is taken up by mobs that are sitting in border chunks. So yeah, to really see the machine in full effect, um, I must go away for five minutes and completely unload uh, the area here. And then we can do some more uh, tests and see how the machine works. But so far everything looks perfect. The water timing is, cru is crucial down here because it gets switched off and back on shortly before the TNT explodes and yeah, if that timing fails, of course the whole contraption would blow up and it would suck. <laughs> Alright, I unloaded the area and also grabbed me a looting sword because yeah, looting also works with these uh, setups, which is pretty cool. Collected a bunch more uh, witches in there. Should should be fine. Maybe 20 or something are sitting in there now. Let's have a quick look. Um, let me see. Let's precise look at them. Around 20, I would say, in the count wise. Okay, we got them in there. So we wanted to try out the fire resist. Um, um, we wanted to see if that works out properly. Okay, TNT in there. We're gonna select fire resist push it in there and now we're gonna do ignite and hold the looting sword okay let's see if that worked out I see some potions in there already stuff is getting processed okay it's gone let's pick up the XP which is also pretty decent I think over time we'll sum up and yes, it worked out. Okay, we produced fire resistance out of it. Um, alongside instant health and yeah, all the other drops. Maybe there's some more in there. Let's see. Okay, more other drops. But works. Brilliant. And we got more witches piling up. Okay, so next up um, we should try out the speed. Come on in, come on in. Yes, yes. Speed, I hope that works out fine as well. Let's see if more are spawning in. I'm not too happy with the spawn rates all the time. I can only see two, one entities up there. There's 11 entities down there. That 18. What? Okay, item, item frames, right. Still. Mm-hmm, yep. Might have to do some more cave lighting. Not too bad. I might uh, need to go caving soon anyways because I'm a bit low on gold. Okay, so obviously mob cap is taken up by something else again. This is quite some pr surprising. I had the place lit up nicely. Well, yeah, need to work on it. Now we're going to try the speed potion. Okay, switch off fire resistance. Select speed. And basically what we need to do now is we need to, um, we need to back off. So, oh, okay, I think we were far enough away, can see stuff in there, let me see what kind of potions we got, I might have to train that a little bit with the, um, the looting sword, I'll switch that off again and see, yes, swiftness, uh, swiftness, <laughs> Swiftness potions are being produced. Three of them. That is nice. We got another witch lining up up there. Drop her in. And now we need to hopefully spawn in a few more. Let's grab the XP. It's only small witch numbers. You know, when I have to farm up and running um, at this full extent, normally, I don't know, today is a bad day. B Dubs had this problem here once uh, too some point somewhere mobs get stuck and yeah they really mess with the spawn rates for no good reason don't know um hopefully um i can get it under control 
um, the zip crowd guys extended their perimeter a bit and uh, this way they could yeah, uh, stop it. I don't have to do the water everywhere but I might have to go in the outskirts, the caves that are far out on the outer limit, um, about 140 or so blocks away and yeah, take care of them and really make sure to light them up carefully because that is where <coughs> mobs can get stuck and yeah, just don't despawn there forever. It's really stupid. Okay, but we got a few witches dropping as you can see. It's going all right. I assume by now we would have about 10 in there. Again, normally it should be way faster. But yeah, what can you do for this test? Um, it'll be all right. Uh huh. And here we came into the situation. I was concerned about. Okay, they bump each other free. Cannot get stuck. And we got a nice, um, another nice batch of witches coming in. Sweet. Okay, it's okay-ish right now, but not great. The unloading helped a bit, but I have to unload uh, more chunks then, as it seems. All right. Um. In any case, let's wait until these two guys. Oh, there's another one coming in. These three guys, let's say, made it in there. Okay. And then we can try out the last one, uh, would be, uh, which would be the water breathing potion. Okay. Get them in there. <coughs> Put the TNT down. Select our water breathing. Switch it over. Light it up. Light it up. Hold the looting sword. Blow them up. Okay, that should have worked as well. Put water on them. Fake drowning, so to speak. And let's see what it dropped. Did it work out this time? Mm, looks like we were unlucky. Something went wrong there, maybe. Did I unintentionally trigger the butt switch with the flint and steel we might have to try that again didn't see water breathing there might have to do something about timings okay we are set maybe it was just not yeah we, we weren't lucky but I think this one triggered should have triggered let's try again let's drop the witches in let's see got two in there we need a better better sample size try it out one more time okay I'm gonna wait a bit and yeah get some witches collected and then I'll be back all right we got a few more in there once again around 20 so let's try water breathing again and carefully observe the machine if everything goes well we should see water being triggered from this dispenser up there so yeah let's do this light it and observe the dispenser I think it dispensed water there for a sec you can also do a, tr uh, a dry run basically and see if water gets dispensed up there but I think we should be alright let's see if we were lucky no okay we need to do it a dry run but uh, first of all, let's make some more health potions. What if my cat teleports in there? Okay, let's switch it off. So we don't get any more witches coming in here. Okay, nice. Okay. And then we need to do a dry run um, with the water breathing and see. Let's try one more time. Maybe we were just unlucky carefully observe what happens okay it's in there we oop, fire it up we holding our looting water was dispensed yep water is definitely dispensed maybe it's just a question of luck um, I don't think there's something wrong with the timing we could clearly see water flowing down into the chamber putting them underwater so eventually it should work I think it's just related to the relatively small amount of um, yeah, witches we have at the moment should be able to get it to work um, if not I'll try it out a bit you know 
mess about with the timing. But yeah, we are on a good way. Instant health uh, worked out fine. Everything worked out fine. But the water breathing. Um, yeah, I'll say um, I'll just do some more tests and try to collect a big batch and try out water breathing again. If not, I will mess around with the design a bit, try to fix it. But um, timing wise, everything looked fine to me. Um, yeah, so this is the potion maker extension. Uh, also, in case witches um, get also nerfed, um, as you know, some of the farms got nerfed lately. Um, this is the way to go then. Um, manual killing and um, yeah, aside of the normal witch drops, you will also get their potions. Um, well, if they want us to farm automatically, we should do it proper, right? <laughs> so, um, in any case, um, there's some more witches coming in. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I think this is a useful contraption. You guys could also use for your witch farms in case you run one. In your single player worlds, it's definitely more efficient if you have yeah, more control about where players are and so on. But still, a witch farm is a great design. Um, see you next time, guys. I'm out. Bye.